What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a very exciting day. The main reason I have been waiting probably four months to get this done. I ordered my parts. There was a couple things on back order and I finally got everything in. So what we're doing today, building our headlights for the Tacoma. A lot of you guys have been bugging me to do these headlights because one is kind of halfway decent looking. The other one's all yellow and foggy. Looks like absolute trash. So what we're gonna do today is a complete retrofit on these headlights. We're gonna tear them all apart, pull the lenses off, mount some projectors inside of the headlights. The projectors are a lot better light output, a lot more controlled light output than just these regular reflector halogen lights. So let's go check out everything we got for the build and then we'll get right to work, pull these headlights out, get these things stripped down and ready for projectors. So here is everything we need to do this retrofit. I kind of went all out this time with some really high-end stuff. This is all Morimoto, very, very good quality. These are actually the 5.0 D2S minis. This is their latest projector, supposed to be pretty sweet. And then we got some switchback shrouds. I forget the name of these, X5-R 2.0. So those should be pretty sweet. It's kind of got like a little bit of a C light around uh, a little LED strip in there. Obviously I'm going to paint those black. I really don't like the chrome. And then we got the bulbs, the connectors, ballast, and the whole wiring harness and controller. So all this stuff is from Morimoto. I'll see if I can find this stuff on Amazon. If not, you can go to the retrofit source and get all this stuff from them. It's very, very high quality, like I said. So let's get right to it. Hopefully, all I should be able to do is pull this control box off. I should be able to pull the grill. Hopefully there's enough room in here to get the grill out enough to pull the grill out without pulling the bumper. I really, really don't want to pull the bumper just to get the grill out, but we got to pull the grill, uh, side markers, and then we can get to the headlights, pull those out. I also am going to be refinishing these headlights. So I do have a headlight restoration kit from uh, Cerakote. I'll show you guys that when we get to that point in this build, but it's gonna turn these nasty looking yellow headlights back into brand new. Actually, this driver's side headlight is aftermarket, which I really don't want to use. So I found just another used set of OEM headlights here. So we're gonna take the best ones we got and do the headlight restoration kit and they'll look brand new when we're done. All right guys, step one is complete. That being just making sure everything physically fits in this headlight with the shroud, projector, everything. It looks like, it's kind of hard to look down inside of there, but it looks like there's about a half inch of clearance between the edge of that shroud and the lens. Now the lens does eh, need to go on a little bit more, but we should have plenty of clearance there. One thing we will have to do is a little bit of work back here. This nut is kind of hitting on some of these walls and posts for the old screws. So we're gonna have to get back in here, 
grind a little bit out. What you don't want to grind out is these little spots where this adapter plate kind of sits in there and lines everything up. So you want to be careful. You just want to grind out some of the stuff that the actual nut is hitting on and we can leave the rest in place. So we'll get the grinder out, grind some out back here. I usually like to smooth out some of the material around here. You can see there's like that big block right there and that one there, a little bit here. That just helps bring that projector in a little bit more just to get a little bit more clearance and it actually stabilizes that projector just because it does have that rubber piece on the back of the projector but having a nice flat uniform surface for the projector to sit against, it does help with keeping that projector solid. So let's grind a few things out and then we can strip these things down. I'm gonna paint the housings, all this chrome is gonna be black and then it'll probably do satin black on that and I'm thinking about doing maybe a gloss or a flat black. I kind of like to mess with the sheen a little bit of the black um, as far as the projector shroud goes but once we get to that point we'll figure that out. All right guys, it's that easy. Just a little bit of grinding. That projector is nice and solid. And you can see here, I just had to take a little bit off around the outside and that nut is sitting nice and flush. Now this tool from TRS or from Morimoto, I don't even know who makes it. I think it's Morimoto, but is a lifesaver. With every other projector, you get a different nut and you can actually use this tool. But with this setup, you don't have to uh, fight tightening this nut with just trying to get a wrench or a big socket down in there because you can see there's not much room. So having this tool with this setup with this projector is a game changer. This thing is so nice. So we are basically ready to go. I am going to get this ready for paint. I'm probably just going to go through, give them a quick sandblast. We'll pull the light out of that. You can see there's just a few screws. We'll pull that out, sandblast that and give these a paint job and then we can throw them all back together. All right guys, while that paint is drying, I'm going to kind of mess around with these lenses. I already washed these up, and if you see, if you can see this on the camera, there's marks that are in the lenses which are actually on the inside of the lens. I don't know how, usually the inside of the lenses are pretty clean, but you can see that circle mark right up here, right there. That's actually on the inside of the lens. And the inside of these lenses and most of these plastic lenses have some sort of like a clear coat or some sort of coating that you can really mess up and you can't really fix it unless I guess if you completely strip it and recoat it with whatever it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the other stock headlight and I'm gonna do a little bit of messing around. I got this Cerakote kit. This is basically a ceramic coating for headlights, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do the outside of that lens with the kit and then I'm gonna take the ceramic coat from this kit and try it on the inside of the lenses and see if that'll mess it up or maybe it'll make it better, maybe it'll screw it up, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna mess around with that stock headlight though before I screw up these lenses because these ones are actually in a lot better shape than those but they just have those marks which 
I can't really, I don't want to mess up the inside. So let's do a little screwing around with this headlight and see if we can figure out a good way to get those marks out. All right, we got this lens off. So we're gonna just do all three steps on the outside of the lens and then we're gonna see how it looks and screw around with the inside. So what we got, first step is an oxidation remover. This is just a wipe. We wipe down the outside of the lens. It removes any of the oxidation. And then there's two different steps for sanding. So it's just got a little hand sander here. We're just gonna sand this, get all the imperfections out of the lens, and then we move to our ceramic coatings. So it's kind of like a clear coat, ceramic coat type of deal made for these headlights. So let's go through all three steps on the outside, and then honestly, if this lens turns out perfect, I might just use that one. We'll kind of go and see which one turns out better, and then we'll have to find a way to get the other lens looking good as well. All right guys, after all three steps and that ceramic coating, this lens looks absolutely perfect. There's a couple little tiny things on the inside of the lens, but that one actually is a lot nicer than this one just because, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see that right there at the top corner, there's that circle, and then there's another one kind of down towards the bottom, and that's on the inside of the lens. Well guys, I found the ticket is just to buff it. So you can, when you feel the inside of these lenses, they don't feel like the outside. They almost feel, I don't know, the best way I can explain it is they almost feel sticky and I can still feel the coating where I was buffing. So it's not buffing the coating off, but those weird marks came all the way out. So I'm gonna do that on the inside of this lens. You can see those marks. So I'm gonna go buff the inside of this lens and then we're gonna go through with all three steps of this restoration kit on the outside. And then once that paint is dried up on the housings, we'll get these lights all back together.
Well, there it is guys. Lights are 100% done. These things are looking amazing. I am so happy with how these look. So as you saw, these little strips on the shrouds are a switchback. So I did wire those to my blinker. A lot of you were asking when I built the bumper where my blinkers are, I'm going to be using that for my blinker. So that will work just fine. So I am really liking these headlights. It is actually dark outside. So let's run outside. We'll probably have to adjust these a little bit. Uh, they actually do look pretty close. I'll show you guys the beam pattern. Fire those up. It'll take a little bit to warm them up. So there's the output. As you can see, it's a very crisp cutoff, a very clean light output. And then hit the high beams. They look a little funny being so close to the door right now. But I promise you when we get outside, those things are going to be very bright. So let's get outside, adjust them real quick, and let's go for a drive, see how these things look. Well guys, here's a little peek while the truck warms up. This isn't adjusted at all, which honestly looks very, very close. But you can see, that's just low beams. That is pretty bright. The light is very even, There's not, it's not all spotty, um, but it does look really good. You can see, these things are sweet, they're nice and bright, but let's get the truck warmed up. Let's get out on the road and see how they work. All right guys, there's a light that is uh, low beams. You can see how freaking bright these things are and how even that light is. It's so much better than any other projector I've ever had. And there's the high beams. So these things really do light up the night. And believe it or not, with that low beam right there, that I haven't touched the adjustment at all. I might raise them up just a touch. They might just be a little bit low, but that is the closest I've ever been just straight out of the retrofit, not adjusting them at all. guys I just went home and adjusted these lights I just brought them up a little bit even them out and that is absolutely perfect this light output is amazing high beams once again there you go you can see about everything you need to see well that's it guys these headlights are only one way to put it they're simply amazing they're so bright so even they look awesome they really completed the front end of this truck this thing is looking so freaking good and also that headlight restoration kit from Cerakote go check that out if you guys want to restore your headlights actually one of these headlights was that super yellow super foggy lens and it looks brand new now and that kit is not that expensive go check it out i'll have it linked down in the description box well i'm gonna wrap this one up here guys i really really hope you enjoyed the video hope you like the lights like I said, I'll have all this stuff linked down below if you want to check it out. I did buy all this stuff on the Retrofit Source, but I'll try to find it on Amazon. I'm not sure if Amazon has the Morimoto stuff, but if they do, I'll link it. If not, I'll put a link to the Retrofit Source where I bought this stuff. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go smash that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.